All right, y'all are welcome to today's channel, to today's event. My name is Eminent Augusta. You are all welcome to Eminent Augusta TV channel. Um, in this channel, we help you as a business owner and entrepreneur or a purpose-driven individual to grow your business into the digital space, thereby serving the world with the value you bring to the marketplace. And when we talk about marketplace, this time we are talking about the digital space because the world is going digital. So are you a business owner, a sales personnel, an athlete marketer, a digital marketer, even a network marketer or a marketer, whatever it is you're doing and it involves selling, which trust me, for you to build wealth, you must sell something. So you all are welcome. Okay, so if today is your first time in this channel, kindly click on the subscription button and turn on post notifications so that you receive a lot of every value-driven information that is being produced on this content or whenever we go live. And also, I need you to like the subscription button because trust me, you're going to fall in love with today's topic. Click on the um, thumbs up, like this content, share your comments and your review in the comment section so that YouTube can help us get this video go viral. Come on, the, con the value you'll be receiving today is going to be what more than you can ever bargain or think of it. That's why I call it priceless, all right? So all you need to do for us right now is to click on the thumbs up button and like this content, like the video. Trust me, I know you like it because the topic that we are serving today, the topic we'll be discussing about today are the nine pillars of success. I would like to call it the roadmap to success in athlete marketing. I like to call it that, yeah, the roadmap to success in athlete marketing, or better still, nine pillars to success in athlete marketing. So trust me, you will like it. So do not forget, click on the thumbs up, click on the subscription button, subscribe to this channel, turn on your post notification to receive, to be the first to receive a lot on every value-driven information that we create on this channel. Once again, you all are all welcome. So let's get down to the topic of today, the nine pillars to success in athlete marketing. Now, even if you're not an athlete marketer, it applies to you in whatever field of industry you are, be you a sales personnel, a marketer of any organization, a digital marketer, network marketer, whatever it is you're doing. All right, so the roadmap to success, there are nine pillars to success in athlete marketing. Why I'm speaking more to athlete marketers is because right now we are having a live event and 80% of those of you live are live on Zoom are athlete marketers. So let's get down to it. There are nine pillars for you to succeed as an athlete marketer or a marketer in whatever it is you're doing or whatever it is you're selling. The first thing you need to do, the first pillar is decision. Write that down, get your book, get your pen and jot down the things I'll be saying. Number one is decision making. Yes, you must decide daily to progressively grow in your endeavor. Decide to daily progress in your business with a maximum intentionality. Mark that word, maximum intentionality. Why am I saying that? Because progress is perfection. Yeah, we've had the saying that, oh, there's nothing, um, perfection does not exist. Trust me. It does, and it's seen in the progress. They say success. Or nineteen, you said success is the progressive realization of a worthy goal or idea. Trust me, that's where perfection is found. When you daily progress towards achieving a particular goal or idea, so you don't need to have everything figured out yet. All you need to do is a step in the right direction on a daily basis with conscious. I call it a conscious, intentional step. And trust me. That is the best you can do for yourself. Okay, so for you to talk about, for us to talk about decision making, many of you say, okay, then yes, you have to take massive aggressive action on your goals and your dream. When we talk about decision making, we talk about you not just making a decision, but your ability to take massive aggressive action on your goals and your dream, your ability to tell your goals, your vision, your dream to the world, say it out loud, then go figure out a way of making it a reality. Your willing, willingness to, I always call it your willingness to do something unreasonable, something crazy, because successful people are unreasonable people. They are crazy people. They, are, they act like mad people. And that's why they say every successful man is an unreasonable person and a crazy person, a madman. They don't think, have you ever seen a madman acting? 
once they see something they want to do, they don't think twice, they just do it within a split of seconds. Now, that is the mindset of successful people. All right. So tell your goal to the world, say it out loud to the world. Let the whole world know about what you want to achieve. Proclaim it. Because when you do that, you're holding yourself accountable. Then be willing to do something unreasonable and crazy enough to make you accountable to the cost of you achieving that vision or that goal that you have. Then the next thing you need to do, once you've told, told the world, you need to go figure it out. At the beginning, everything will not make sense to you. So you need to do what? You need to go figure out how to get that done how to make it a reality you need to go and figure it out you need to be ready to do whatever it takes get outside your comfort zone trust me your comfort zone is your broke zone so for you to be rich and wealthy, you need to get out of your comfort zone comfort zone means your willingness and readiness to do things uncommon things that you've not been doing before every blessed day in order to give yourself the desired result that you want so you need to go leave your comfort zone and do what and check the world with your ability with the things that you can do show the world who you are the moment you proclaim to the world then every eyes is on you and that is where you put yourself on your toes to do what to show the world who you are make a decision today that you're going to keep moving towards your vision. They are going to keep moving towards your goal. Decide that you're going to build the boat. You're going to burn every other boat and focus because whatever area of adventure you're doing, you need to focus. You need maximum focus for at least a period of, give it at least three, four, five years. Then you can move to the next big deal. All right. So decide today that you're not going to play small. Quit playing small. You're playing below your potentials. And that's why you're not having the results that you are supposed to have. So quit playing small. It's time for you to go massive in life. Go big on your dreams. Go big on your execution of your goals and your dreams. And that is the point when it comes to decision making. So, number one, the first pillar and road to you succeeding in athlete marketing is what? decision making number two is what commitment now when we talk about commitment we talk about commitment to your skills the skills necessary for you to achieving your goals so commit to learning the skills required of you to give yourself the desired results and for you to give yourself the desired result you need to become a different version of yourself trust me one of my role model will always say that the money you're looking for is also looking for you but the thing is that the money you're looking for is looking for you, but not this version of yourself. It's looking for the higher and a different version of yourself. So you need to become that individual that is deserving of the success that you demand from life. All right. So become that by what? Upscaling your skill set. There are, there are, there are, there are no good or bad circumstances in life. There are only learning experiences. Always know that it is in the moment of decision making that your destiny is shaped. When you make a decision and you intentionally carry out those, um, intentionally carry out the execution of those decisions, the execution of the action that will make that decision a reality. That is the point when your destiny is being what is being shaped. All right, so take action, take charge of your life. You can never lose or fail when you're building or when you're running towards your dream or when you're um, trying to achieve your goal. It's either you win or you learn. Now, let me tell you that whatever you do, know that you are never a loser. It's either you win or you learn. Now, let me tell you what a loser looks like. A loser is that man that stops learning. A loser is that person that stopped taking risks. A loser is that person that stopped growing. Why? Because he's scared. He's scared of facing himself. He's scared of going big on his life. So as an athlete marketer, you need to know that you are not a loser. There are good experiences, there are good circumstances, and there are bad circumstances. So it's either you win along your journey or you learn along your journey, all right? Now, Athlete marketing business, online business generally, online business is not for everybody. It's, for, it's not for everybody. It's only for the strong hearted. It's only for those that have the entrepreneurial spirit in them. It's only for those that have the entrepreneurial bone in them. If you don't have that, sorry, online business is not for you. Athlete marketing is not for you. So you better get that right. 
So if it's for you, then you need to express that entrepreneurial spirit in you. You need to exercise that entrepreneurial bone in you. To achieve whatever it is you want to achieve in life, you must develop the necessary skills. You must develop the necessary skills that is needed for you to be a success in that which you want to achieve in life. Now, when you talk about being an online, in the online business, being, a, being an athlete, marketer, a digital marketer, or whatever marketer or marketing um, scheme you are in, you are in a relationship with or you are in partner with you need to okay let's talk about affiliate marketing the online business you must learn how to generate traffic you must learn how to um, generate traffic and when you generate traffic pass your clients or your prospects or your leads through a sales funnel where they get more information and understanding of what it is that you are getting them to buy or whatever value it is that you're trying to give them, then you must possess a follow-up skill, copywriting skill, handling of objection, very, very important, because this is where a lot of people tend to give up in the athlete marketing business, in the online business. Any little no, they, they chicken away, not knowing that every no you receive brings you closer to your yes. So as an athlete marketer, you need to stop hoping that you'll be successful. The truth is hope is not a strategy to success. Stop depending on luck. When I talk about stop depending on luck, I mean stop depending on luck in a negative way. If actually you really want to depend on luck in a positive way, then you need to go and research on the full meaning of luck. So what's the full meaning of luck? My mentor told me that the full meaning of luck means learning under the right knowledge, learning under the correct knowledge. All right, so you need to ask yourself as an athlete marketer or whatever marketer you are, are you learning under the correct knowledge and under the correct mentorship? Because you need to focus, you need to commit yourself in becoming a professional in your field. You need to focus, you need to commit yourself, you need to learn the necessary skills that will make you a professional, that will make you an authority, someone that, an authority that has built value, that attracts money to yourself for your next level. Trust me, the best school that you can attend right now is you taking actions on everything you've learned. The best school, let me say it again, the best school you can attend right now is in you taking action on everything you've learned. Why? Because it's in the doing that you learn. You don't learn in the studying and the theory, no. Because a lot of us spend so much money, in fact, we become um, knowledge bloated. We spend so much time and effort in learning without executing. So the school, the best school you need to attend right now is you taking action, executing in everything you're learning because knowledge is no longer power. Rather, applied knowledge becomes what power. Knowledge is what conductivity. So take massive and aggressive action on a daily basis. You can only learn in the doing of the knowledge and not just in the studying of the theory. I hope you got that right. I hope you got that right. So that's for number two, when we talk about commitment, committing to learning the skill. Then number three, we talk about number three is habits. What are your habits? One of my great mentors once told me that the secret to success is seen in my daily routine. So that blew, that, that took me off daily routine. What do you do on a daily basis? Your habits on a daily basis form your routine. And that is where the secret of success lies. Now, it's so important for you to come out with a baseline of habits. What are the activities you do on a daily basis? Commit to daily discipline of turning what you should be doing on a daily basis into what into habits for example i myself i have a habit i have a daily routine a daily habit i carry out on a daily basis once is um once is um because i go to bed i i retire to bed around 12 a.m or 1 a.m in the morning or at times at most two then i now depending when i go to bed i wake up i give myself like two or three between three to five hours maximum five hours I sleep, all right? But it's not at a stretch most times. So once it's 5 a.m. or 6, I'm up, okay? So depending, if I go to bed, for example, if I go to bed by 12, once it's, um, it's 5 a.m., I'm up. If I go to bed by 1, once it's 5 a.m., I'm up. If I go to bed by 2, 
once it's 5 a.m or 6 a.m I'm, I'm up all right so now once i'm up the first thing i do i do a gratitude section i do a gratitude section in meditation i meditate i carry out my gratitude my prayers or whatever it is you want to call it a spiritual exercise once i'm done with that i do a, a personal care take my supplements do a little shows why i boots my brain i boots myself my mind to getting active now at that point i do a little personal show just to boost my mind to get active then i start i i take my breakfast then i swing into my classroom my learning phase my learning implementation and execution period now i do this till around 12 then i i i i go depending on what i have for the day i give myself a, a kind of two hours break to maybe refresh, do some other things, go for lunch, then come back by to carry out income generating activity crazily and massively. Now I do this till 6 p.m. and I do my 30 minutes or one hour workout or exercise. Then if there are any other online meeting or events where I'm supposed to meet people online or offline, I carry that out. Or if there are coaches or if there are mentorship sections I'm supposed to attend, I do that and it takes me till 12 a.m. Now that is my daily routine. So you should ask yourself, what should I do? That's the question many of us ask, what should I do today? What should I do? So I myself, my daily routine at every hour, I already know what to do at every hour. In fact, I built my daily routine to the extent that every hour I have an alarm clock reminding me of what to do. But right now, I don't need it every hour because every hour I know exactly what I should be doing. So let's, I want you to move from asking yourself, what should I do to what? To asking yourself, what must I do? Because it's so important you create a baseline for yourself, then commit to daily discipline of turning what you should do. What, as in daily discipline of turning what you should do to a daily habit of what you must do. So turn your what should I do and let it become what must I do, all right? Engage in daily activities of personal development. Engage in, you can create a calendar of personal development of 365 days per year. You can create a calendar of 52 days per month. You can create a calendar of seven days per week. You can even create a calendar of 24 hours per day. I have a, a section of personal development where I go on YouTube, I spend maybe maximum 30 minutes, one hour, depending. I go on TikTok. There are people I, I don't follow every news and no. I There are quality people I follow. There are three minutes, five minutes, where two or three um, influential person that, ha, that, that is of high value in quality, a high performer. Once I listen to them, I go to TikTok. I spend like 30 minutes or 10 minutes in TikTok consuming quality people because I follow people of value people that add value to my life, people that, that I, I aspire to be like, people that possess what I want. I go on Instagram, I do the same thing. Yeah, I do the same thing and I'm out. Then I'm, I move to the next thing. I make sure that I, I, I set my mind not to be addicted to the distraction online because guys, that's a, that's a very big discipline not to be addicted to the distraction on different social media. I'm always on social media on a purpose. Either I'm learning or I'm giving value or I'm making money in the process. So engage in daily simple little things that you can do and that you can teach people. What are those simple habits you're willing to engage in? What are the daily habits that you are willing to engage in? What are your daily habits that can turn into your daily routine for you? I just gave you an example of my daily routine. All right, so what are your stats today? Make a decision to create your daily habits, all right? So that is about it. That's for it for number three. So let's talk about number four. Number four is association, power of association. Trust me, the people you associate with determine who you are. Show me your friends, I'll tell you who you are. It's very, very true. Now your environment plays an important role in your success. For you to be successful, your environment, the people you hang around with plays an important role. Now, the people you surround yourself with, your dreams, your goals, your success in life, your happiness in life, your purpose in life, all should be more important than the negative people that you allow to rent an apartment in your life. Guys, in order for you to be successful in life, you must learn how to be selfish. Being selfish means being selfish to yourself. Pay attention, be selfish. 
whatever it is you're doing in life, be selfish to yourself because until you become selfish, then you can become selfless. I always tell myself, my, you see my success, my success in life, my happiness in life, my, my goals in life, my dreams in life, my purpose in life is non-negotiable. So I'm so selfish to the extent that I don't even allow any negative person, events or people to rent a space in my life to rent an apartment in my life. Now, most of the time, these negative people could be our family members. So once they're your family members, what do you need to do? Once your family, always your family, you can't cut off from them. But this is what you can do, ladies and gentlemen. You can spend less time. You can spend less time with them. If, you are, if your association is not helping you to focus, if your association is not pushing you in the right direction of your purpose, then let's spend less time with them. If they are your family members, that's the best solution. In my family, um, my, um, then I could remember there was a few, I, I didn't stay much from my, in my, uh, when I was growing up. I, didn't, I don't stay much with my family, right? From when I was a kid, after uh, my primary five, after a crisis in just Plateau State in Nigeria, since then I've been away from family. So in a year, I can count total out of 12 months. I spend with my family maximum a month. So I, I go off to school. In fact, I've been away all my life from my family members. So each time I come back, my mom is always this kind of person that we talk, we chat and this, but she likes every bad news flying around. She likes listening as in, she's someone that bad news entertains her. So once she starts, she's in that mood, what I do, I just give her space. I leave that surrounding. And that's why most of the times, I, once, once I go home to visit my family, once I stay up to one week, the second week, my body is already itching me because I'm no longer, comfortable because I am now comfortable. So I'm feeling uncomfortable of being comfortable in my family house. So the next thing is what I need to leave to go to my to go to my territory where I discomfort myself. Do you even know that you can discomfort yourself in your territory by setting disciplines for yourself that can help you grow your potentials? All right. So learn to raise your standards the standards of your association as you grow up in the ladder of success you must reach out in relationship you must lose negative relationship learn to treat yourself with respect let me say that again treat yourself with respect do not allow toxic people into your life rather spend time with high highly influential people high performance people it could be online, it could be offline, it could be visual, it could be physical, whichever way that works for you. Spend time with high performance, high quality people. Because the day you decide to raise your standard, I can remember um, raising up standards have different phases in life. But there's one thing I know for sure. At every time when, I, when the call comes for me to raise up my standards, I tell myself, it's time I embrace a new level of abundance. It's time I embrace a new level of success in my life. I raise my standards. I surround myself with high performance. I push my, my, my life and clear out all the weeds, all the negative weeds in my mind and people that are making me doubt myself. I spend less time with negative-minded people. Then I repeat this process on it. On a, on, a, on, a, on a daily basis, monthly basis, whenever the need arises for me to do what, to raise my standards, all right? So as you move on the ladder of success, know that every now and then you must keep raising your standard, you must keep reaching out for the top, all right? So that's it for number four. So number five is what, think bigger. Always ask yourself, what percentage of potential am I operating at? Many of you are operating below your potential. You are playing too small. And that is the reason why you're not producing the kind of result that you want to produce. Having a 10% growth daily in your life can make the difference for you. Guys, let me repeat. Having a 10% focus in your life can make the difference for you. If only you're willing to pay the price. If only you're willing to do what it will take you to do what to become the best 10% version of yourself. All right? So you must do what? You must learn to pay the price. You must discipline yourself. So think big. Always ask yourself, what's the percentage of my potential? What percentage of my potential am I operating right now at? Am I operating at at least 10% growth? You can do 10% is minimum. We human beings, we've not even operated to our highest capacity of the mind. 
there's this movie, Lucy, she was able to operate at 98% capacity of her mind. So I want you to make a decision today to step into your full potential. Give yourself a radical permission to think bigger and stop playing small. Permit yourself. Personally, how I permit myself to stop playing small and to start playing big and thinking big is I use the consequence rule. There's something I call consequence rule. It's a rule where I get myself to think bigger and do bigger things in my life for accountability purpose. Now, for accountability purpose, you can have people to hold you accountable or whatever it may be, but you too can apply this consequence rule. Now, the consequence rule is holding yourself accountable. Either someone holding you or you holding yourself, then applying pain to that consequence. For example, I, okay, for as of today, right now in my life, there's something I want to achieve. And I gave myself, I, I gave myself, um, I set a consequence rule. I told myself, I don't deserve to go, to go out on a spa. I don't deserve a vacation. I don't deserve a realization within its so so period of time a period of time till for me to achieve what i want so once i achieve that i use those things i deprive myself of to reward myself okay so what i can't even wait for myself to achieve it because uh, i really need to go to spa i need to go do some you know you understand take care of my skin take care of myself um go on a vacation pamper and pet myself as in take care of myself in a fun way all right so that is me. That is my consequence. Rule. So if you're living below your potential, create a painful punishment for yourself that will push you above your potential. I remember back then in the in the in the um, in, um, in the past, I used to create one of my punishments is I don't deserve to go home to see my family to have achieved so so kind of achievements. Okay, so create a painful punishment for yourself that will push you towards to that will push you above your potential by becoming. Um, come up with pe penalties, consequences. When you're not operating above your potential, then this should be the consequences and punishments. And be, truth be truthful to yourself. Punish yourself, if need be. I remember a period of time when I punished myself of not having a bed, a mattress, like a normal comfortable bed. I had to stay on a couch for three good months. I slept on a couch for three good months. I punished myself. It came with consequences. All right, so you must learn how to discipline. That's where discipline. If you can discipline yourself, trust me, you are halfway to, on your journey to success, living a massively successful life full of abundance. So finally, ensure you spend 80% of your time on your high income generating activity. Yes, that's another thing. Spending 80% of your time because when we do, we are, I'm not here to aspire you to inspire you, all those inspire uh, inspire to aspire and odd uh, no that's bullshit a lot of things if you want motivation there are a lot of motivations out there but the truth is the best person that can motivate and inspire you is you and the fruit and the results of every motivation is seen in your is seen in your ability to execute what you've heard, to push yourself beyond measure, to implement and become the result, that powerful being of whatever it, that it is that is motivating you. So let's not get distracted. I'm not here to motivate you or to aspire to, to, to acquire, no. I'm here to push you, to push you to leave your comfort zone because the end of all this, everything I've said is just 20%. The major goal is you executing, carrying out aggressively the action that needs to be taken in order to produce your results. So you need to focus 80% on of your time on high income generating activities. Yeah, you had me right. Eager, I call it the eager or the nigger. Now, you are a nigger if you are not performing or focusing 80% of your time on non-income generating activity, but you are an eager if you're performing, if you're focusing your time on income generating activity. Now, out of 24 hours of my day, I make sure at least 10 to 12 hours, I dedicate at least 10 to 12 hours towards income generating activity. Don't just be busy, but be productive. So I measure the productivity of my day by the things I was able to achieve and execute. So learn to pay people to take care of chores and activities that you don't, that don't produce money for you. Someone like me, I don't need a PA right now, but I have a PA that does errands for me. I pay her to do errands for me, all right? When it comes to cooking, if it's the day I feel like cooking, I cook. If it's the day I don't feel like cooking, I pay someone to do the cooking. 
to learn to pay people to carry out the chores and activities that, that does not produce money so that you yourself can now focus on the activities that produce money. All right, so that is it. So let's move over to the sixth pillar, which is what? Letting go. You need to let go. What are you letting go? You need to let go of hurt. You need to let go of negative feeling. Trust me. All these are factors, important factors towards your success. Why am I saying this? I can remember um, last year in October, I lost my dad and that took a, a real toll on me. My dad has always been my hero, my lion hero. Everything I did, Sora, as in, he was the purpose why I had this driving force in the business world. I had, I started making money at the age of 12. I became a millionaire at the age of 24. I've done great things in the business world. But the moment this man died, oh God, I was broken. A part of me went with him. As in everything I stood, everything I, as in everything, just, I was a shadow of myself. Everything just disappeared. But guys, guess what? The day I made a decision to find myself back, why was it so? Because everything I was doing was about him. But when he's no longer there, life became meaningless. So I, it, it took me, in fact, I'm still in the process, but I'm getting better. But guys, it took me six to seven months to get myself together. It's not easy. So I had to let go of the hurts. I had to let go of the negative feeling because every negative feeling and hurts that you're experiencing, whatever it is that is giving you that vibe will lead to a negative emotion. And that way you, 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 it's going to weigh you down and lead you to, to, um, to performing or taking negative action that will give you a negative result. I have my own fair share of experience whereby when my dad has a lot of things happen. In fact, at the point I was like, there's no need of me to be, they, they've always known me to be an alpha lion mentor. There's no need of me to always pose that lioness. As in, there's no need for me to be strong. I, as in, I said, let me test the other version of being a careless, reckless lady. As in, I, I was looking, I was hot. So, you know, when you're hot, you look for things that will make you feel better. Like, it was as if I, I was hot and I was hurting myself because there was a hurt that came in my dad because, oh gosh. Okay, let me say this. My, all right. So before my dad died in the month of September, I had a call with my dad and he asked me, I had this goal to do quite a, during Easter, last day Easter, I said, okay, I won't go home. I set a, I set a goal to achieve before December so that I can take care of my family. When I go home, I'll do a lot of things for them. So my dad called me, I was like, am I not coming home? I was like, dad, I'm coming home. I just launched a new business project and it's like a baby. And if I leave, my absence is going to affect the business. Okay, why don't you just wait? I'm coming home December. When I come home December, I'm going to do quite a whole lot. I'm crushing it big, but guess what? My dad died and it's pained me that I was not aware that that call he made for me to come home was very important. I never knew that a lot of things were happening. So I was hot, so I, I was hot. I was hurting myself on top of it. So a lot of negative things, negative feeling led me to do a lot of negative things that I'm not even proud of. Some were fun, some were not. But guess what? It's okay. We are human beings. But the most important thing is recognizing and identifying when to say enough is enough. Getting yourself back on track. Okay, so stop caring of what other people's opinion are because that's another thing that leads to negative feeling. And it comes from exposing yourself to negative environment. You see your association. Because during the period when I was down and hot, I allowed a lot of negative things enter me and they controlled my emotion. Okay, so stop allowing other people to take control of you. Focus on what you can control, which is how you respond to internal and external factor. Let go of everything that is holding you down. Just let go, all right? Don't hold any hurts again because it's doing you no good. 
those things that control or hold you back, make a short list of them. Write down everything that hurts you, everything that is holding you, everything that you feel pain about. This is the healing process. Write them down, look at them, read them out. Then what I need you to do is to fold that paper, burn it, and blow the ashes and the flame into the air. Allow the wind to take them away. Let's go. Give yourself that peace of mind. You deserve it. You need to be selfish. Release. Set yourself free from anger. Set yourself free from resentment. Set yourself free from envy, jealousy, hate, regret. Set yourself free. I was so happy that I was able to set myself free from regret because regret was what was my heart. That was my pain. Regret of not being able to achieve all the goals, every, the promises I made to my dad. Regret for not being able to go see him before he passed away. Everything. Set yourself free. Intentionally ask yourself or other people for apology and give. Either you ask other people for apology or you give the apology. I had to forgive myself. It wasn't easy. I had to forgive myself. Because I felt like hurting myself is the right punishment for for regretting not to do as in a lot of things but how to forgive myself so learn to forgive yourself just imagine what will happen to your life and the life of others you'll be touching if only you can replace that pain that hurts with love and passion just imagine so the seventh one is what vision you must be clear on your why that is the seventh pillar your vision be clear on your why be clear on what you want clarity is very important on your way to success wanting something is not enough reason for you to actualize your vision get it into writing write down your vision then actualize as visualize it daily visualize it until it becomes so strong enough to push you to daily execution on the action that will make your vision a reality so as a digital business growth expert and as an elite athlete marketer people join my business because of my vision the vision i have for myself and the vision i have for them in the future the vision for the future to join my business because of the life i've created and the life i can create for them i can help them create people join my business because of the impact i make in their life and the impact i've made in a lot of people's life so get your vision clear Ask yourself, what is my vision for my business? What is my vision for my team? What is my vision for the people I'm called to serve, service to humanity? Because the more you help a lot of people get what they want, in return, life will give you what you want. So get your vision so clear that it's your vision that drives you. My vision before was my dad. But right now, I'm so happy that I've created, I have a new vision. And guys, guess what? I'm the most selfish person on planet Earth because my new vision right now is me. Yeah, you had me right. It's me. Now, until I can get enough of me, then from my abundance, I give to the world. And that is exactly what I'm doing. I've gotten enough of me and that's what I'm giving out to you. If I didn't get enough of me, I won't be doing this video right now. So get your vision so clear that it's your vision that drives you. Write it down and work on it. Identify a better way that you can work together with a group of people, with a team or with like-minded people towards achieving your dream. And always remember, ladies and gentlemen, when talking about your business, always talk about your vision, always talk about your passion, always talk about your service to humanity with passion, how you want the world to be a better place because people buy into vision. People love to do business with people they know, they like and trust. And people love to do business with confident people, with visionaries, with leaders. People, people love when they'll be held by the hand and guided all right so that is it for number seven number eight pillar is what the game plan ladies and gentlemen what is your game plan what's your game plan what's your strategy ask yourself what do i need to do to achieve my goals and my dream what do i need to to do to achieve my potentials of becoming the person worthy of my vision because the current version of you right now is not worthy and that is why you are working you're putting in the work you're grinding you're doing everything you can to become the better version that deserves your vision so it's so funny and so interesting it's an interesting part that most of us here you listening most of you here listen to me right now what you do what you need to do you already know it but you're not doing what you're supposed to do. 
All you need right now is discipline yourself to do what you already know. You know what to do. You know what's keeping, you know what you need to do to move yourself from level A to B, but you're not doing it. So if your vision is strong enough, if it's strong enough, then it's time for you, my dear ladies and gentlemen, it's time for you to make time, time your greatest friend and your greatest asset. Focus on allocating time to your business. Focus on allocating time to your income generating activity. Make a decision today to decide that you are going to figure out a way to achieving your goal. Make a decision today that you are going to figure out a way to achieving your vision, your dream. Trust me, the pictures or the ideas might most times are not clear enough. But just believe in yourself that it's possible. You are the one to make it happen. It's not over until you succeed. So ladies and gentlemen, my dear, you listening to me, yes, you. If your vision is strong enough, you will cancel all your excuses and get to work. The reason you keep giving excuses and romancing your mediocrity is because your vision is not strong enough and you are not clear on your why. You're not clear on your vision. So engage in activities intentionally. Discipline yourself to achieving your vision. If he's learning, pay the price. So they see them sitting down for at least one hour, two hours, three hours, learn. After learning, go execute. Yes, I know. Fear is another factor. You just have to feel the fear and still take action anyway. Because if you don't take action, you align the fear to hold you down. So overcome your fear by facing them, by attacking them straight on. Just like a lion, attack it straight on. Take action. And the only way you can attack your fear is by taking action. You see, when you take action, do you know what the action you're doing is? Do you know what the action you're taking is doing to your fear? It starves fear of his food, which is what? Time. Because fear is a way the devil used, is a, is a tool the devil used to play on your mind with time and make you afraid and put things in your mind that doesn't exist. They say fear is false evidence appearing to be real. So start fear of this food, which is what? Time. Don't think too much. Just act. That is why they say successful men are, are crazy people. They are unreasonable. They don't think twice. They act. Because they don't want to give fear that power. So it's either they win or they learn and they move on. So the last pillar to success, the last pillar to success, the last roadmap, to, not the, the last one, not the least, is my day. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to work your bottom, work your ass off. You need to work hard and smart. Always make up in skills that which you lack in talent. Or better still, make up in numbers that which you lack in skills. Why? Because money is a number game. And if you really want to win at your, num at your money game, then you need to understand the game of numbers. Numbers never lie. So growth and contribution is the key, my dear. Growth and contribution. Keep growing, keep adding value, and keep contributing your value to humanity. Put in effort in doing the work. Put in the effort. Do the work. Do not, do not raise your... Do not, do not rise your potential based on people's expectation of you. No. Do not live your life for people. Rather, rise your potential beyond your personal expectation. Make sure, just know that you are not in competition with anyone. You can be in an industry where you are seeing a lot of high performance. Your time is coming. Just put in the work and focus on the process because the, the, the process is the reward. Everybody have different journey, different examination scripts. So focus on your timeline, on your capability, ability, and in your own process. Trust in your process. And raise your standard beyond your personal expectation. Make sure that who you are yesterday is better than who you were yesterday. Sorry, make sure that who you are today is better than who you were yesterday. And who you'll be tomorrow will never see the light of who you are today. Meaning your tomorrow is greater than your today. All right. So finally, I want to leave us with this. Look for or, or form any kind of accountability partner or group, be it online or offline. Or better still, look for access, access to mentorship. There are three ways you can assess a mentorship. Either you pay your way into the mentorship or you earn your way into the mentorship or you serve your way into the mentorship. So 
Mentorship is very important, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I say to myself. Finally, I'm wrapping up here. Because if you leave me, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll, keep, I'll keep going on and on and on. Now, whenever you're nervous, whenever you're confused, whenever you're stuck, because it's going to happen every time. It, things like this happen to us, high performance. So whenever you are nervous, whenever you're confused, whenever you're stuck, say this to yourself. The answers I seek lies within me. I got this. It is done. I need to do what I need. Wealth comes from a place of rest, inner peace. So thank you very much, everyone. So hope you are blessed with this information. If you were, please kindly click on the thumbs up button, like this video, click on the subscription button, subscribe, turn on, turn on post notifications so that you'll be notified on every information and content we are giving in this channel and also do well to share this video copy the link share it on your status get a lot of people to benefit from this until next time see you in our next episode i remain my humble self eminent augusta the alpha